Ni wewe bwana my father it's only you my father oh, my father it's only you my father, it's only you. My father, my father, it's only you. 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 My father, you, my father, it's only you. My father, it's only you. The over it's on you. The over only you, Jehovah, it's only you, Jehovah Elohim, it's only you, my father, you, my father, it's only you, my father, it's only you, my father, it's only you, my father, only you, my father, it's only you. My father, oh. it's only you. My father, it's only you. My father, only you. My father, it's only you. Oh, oh, oh. It's only you. Ebenezer, it's only you. Ebenezer, only you. Ebenezer, it's only you. Ebenezer, it's only you. Ebenezer, it's only you. My father, it's only you. 
my father
Iwewe bwana Kani iwe dani ya watu leta Kani iwe Ni wewe bwana Ni wewe Ni wewe bwana Ni wewe Ni wewe bwana Ni wewe Ni wewe Ni wewe bwana 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 ni wewe baba ni wewe baba ni wewe ni wewe baba wo wewe ni wewe bwana ni wewe ni wewe bwana ni wewe ni wewe ni wewe baba ni wewe ni wewe baba
never seen anyone like you. I never seen anyone like you. I never seen anyone like you. I never seen any friend like you. I never seen anyone like you. You were the land of tribe of Judah. I never seen anyone like you. 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 You were the tribe of line of healing. I never seen anyone like you. You were the tribe of lion of curing go. I never seen anyone like you. You are the tribe of peace, oh Lord. I never seen anyone like you. I never seen any friend like you, Jesus. I never seen anyone like you. 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 Never seen no one like you. I never seen, I never seen. Father, we want to say thank you. We love you, Jesus. We thank you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We have not seen any father like you. We have not seen any friend like you. We have not seen any body like you. You are the best of the You are mighty. You are the we praise your holy name. We praise your holy name. We praise your holy to We praise your holy name. 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 We praise you are too faithful to found me. You are who you are yesterday, today, and forevermore. What you say is what you do. Oh Lord, you never fail, you never change. You are faithful to the end. Faithful God, I worship you. I worship you. Oh Lord, you are too faithful to find me. Oh, you are too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life that I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Father, we love you. You are too faithful this beautiful evening. You are too faithful to that God, too faithful to that family, too faithful <coughs> to disappoint anyone. We are still worshiping the Lord. One of the things that I love to do is to worship the Lord. One of the things to do is to praise him. For when we worship him, he loves us. 
We love you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. Whatever you are, let us worship the Lord. It is so wonderful to love the Lord. Loving the Lord is all that we are left with. There is nothing we can give unto the Lord except worship him. Except to worship him. And the Bible tells us that those who worship the Lord worship him in spirit and in truth. And I ask you, whatever you are, whatsoever you're doing, just give God some minutes and worship him. You know, there are things we spend time on and they do not matter. But at the end of the day, what the Lord requires of you in the purpose he has given you is to worship him. We have worshipped different things in a day, but have you gotten a minute to say, Father, I just came to say thank you. He has given us hours and minutes, but have you just said, Father, thank you for loving me. We are not even worthy to be in presence of him, but still, when we come, we say, Father, we love you. He gives us the ear that we may speak. Father, we love you. Tejeka Yesu Tejeka Tejeka Yesu Tejeka Homo Kale was Sayuni and Polo Goma Yayuda Tejeka Yesu Tejeka Oh, te jeka, yesu, te jeka, te jeka, yesu, te jeka. Homo kare wa sayuni, empolo goma, yayuda, te jeka, yesu, te jeka. Homo chilechi, te jeka, yesu, te jeka. Te jeka, yesu, te jeka. Homo kare wa sayuni. Empologoma, Yayuda, Tejeka, yes, Tejeka. Tejeka means Lord Lul. Tejeka means Lord Move. Tejeka means Lord Lead. You are giving God the authority to lead. You are allowing Him to speak to your spirit right now. The Bible says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But as you begin to hear the worship and begin to pray, your spirit and your flesh will come to the, to, to the agreement of that that the Lord has for you this evening. My own is that I have come, I have done the purpose of God, but you as the one that is listening and watching me, what is your purpose here? Are you sharing to somebody? Have you decided to keep it yourself? Have you decided to do harm to that friend of yours? Share the link to someone. We are live on YouTube right now. We are live on Facebook. We are live on GME. Whenever you want to hear the word of God, just connect to all those our social media. And may the Lord bless you as you give him some time to listen to him. He needs your time. Father, we love you. Lead us, Holy Spirit. The way we have to go. Lead us, Holy Spirit. Forgive us for we are ignorant. Very ignorant, Holy Spirit. We are ignorant of the truth. Ignorant that we are in your praises. Ignorant that we do what we want. Father, forgive us for we do not know. And even in the days like this, no how I speaking, people are still enjoying and doing their own things. And even in the days of Moses, even in the days of Jonah, people kept doing evil, but still people are there to speak about the coming and the goodness of God. And I pray that you may not be ignorant of the truth. 
I pray that the message will not come and bounce back. I pray that you may not miss that that the Lord has brought for you and for your generation in this beautiful evening. Every day the Lord has given us grace to come and preach. Every day the Lord has given ministers of God to minister in every dimension, in every capacity. But my question is, as a believer, what are you doing with that message? Are you keeping it? Are you not praying it? Are you doing something with that message? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. My name is Miss Penaina Oesjili, and I am a lover of Jesus. And I came to speak about Jesus. There is nothing that has brought me here apart from Jesus. And it's the only purpose that I have to come and introduce that beautiful and amazing father to you. He is your father, is my father, is a father of nations. Hallelujah. I began a subject where I'm saying, who are you? Do you know your purpose? Do you know why you are here? Or do you know why you clicked in? Or do you know why you are listening to me right now? There is a reason. There is a purpose for you to be here. If the Lord never wanted you to be a part of this, I'm telling you, you would not have met me. You would not have stopped to listen to me. You would not have even given me a second of yours. But I know that is the devil. The Bible says in John chapter 10, verse 10, he came for one purpose. Satan has a purpose. But what about you as a believer? Do you have a purpose? Ask yourself. If Satan has a purpose, hallelujah, people of God, praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. If Satan has a purpose, what about you as a person? Ask yourself, do I have a purpose? <coughs> hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. Satan has a purpose. Satan has work. His work is to kill, steal, and destroy. And this is what he's doing in the generation we're in. He steals your time. That even when you hear such messages are being preached, you prefer to go on, on TikTok and scroll. <laughs> and even when the pastor is ministering, somebody prefers Maria to go on, on Facebook and scroll. We are in a generation that they don't love the word of God, but they love the word of the social media. Praise Master Jesus. Hello. <laughs> we are in the generation that Satan has bewitched them so much that they cannot hear the voice of God anymore. Praise Master Jesus. We are in a generation that likes power, but they don't like fasting and praying. <laughs> we are in a generation that they want to show power but they do not want to keep in the secret praise master jesus we are in a generation where everybody wants to be called mama and papa <laughs> even the one is born yesterday wants to be mama and papa that's why i love my name penina i love it so much and i'm so proud of my name praise master jesus I, I don't want people to call me mama or papa. Uh -uh, not now. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. What is your purpose? Some of you have sold your purpose like Esau. One time one of my daughter asked me a question. He said, mama, he said, why was Esau hated? Now today I went back to understand the question that one of my daughter asked me. And I came with the answer today. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing me? Hello. Am I communicating to someone? One time Esau came from a field. And he said to his brother Jacob, he said, give me your pollage. Praise the Lord. <laughs> And a man who knew the purpose, he said, I think you have a purpose. I need that purpose. You don't know the meaning of the purpose. 
And because he did not care, you know, we have a generation they want immediately. They don't want Anna immediately. A generation of Esa was a generation of immediately. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You give it to me, I give it to you. <laughs> you give me the honor, I give you honor back. <laughs> you salute to me, I salute to you. That is a generation. And God said, I cannot say God of Esau, God of Jacob. Uh -uh. He said, God of Esau, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, it cannot be. God could not use a man who could not keep his birthright purpose. Hello. <laughs> Some of you are like Esau. You just you just bypass into Dubai something and you just they give you just two dollars. Not even two dollars is too much. One dirham. Praise the Lord. Am I communicating with someone? Hello. I'm just introducing something. Remember, the devil comes to kill, steal, and do what? Destroy. A guy had a purpose. Both of them had a future, Maria. But one did not know what he carried. So he decided to sell it. How many of us have sold what we have? Praise Master Jesus. Hello. There are people that they want immediately of now. Your hunger is taking you to hell. The mantle you are fighting for is taking you to hell because you have not gone through a process to get it. He did not know the process of the purpose that Jacob had cooked. He needed it immediately. He needed to cool it down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God will not use you if you're not willing to go through a process. Praise the Lord. God will not, and that Satan gives you things that are so easy. But let me tell you, when you are in here, there is a process you go in. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Before Satan takes you to the, to the real hell, you have gone on the earth of hell. Praise the Lord. Hello. Because the Bible says, Jacob, uh, uh, Esau cried Maria. He cried. <laughs> he cried. He said, Father, I didn't know one blessing for me. <laughs> he said, no wonder. He, now he began to understand the name of Jacob. Because he had never understood or studied the purpose. What is your purpose? What is your purpose? What is your purpose, young lady? What is your purpose, young man? What are you doing with your purpose? Hello. There are some of you who just need everything. You have not been at home. You just want it. It's mine. You have not known how it has been. You just come from everywhere. You just want to sit in the same seat again. It is impossible. There is a Jacob that has been at home, monitoring, serving. People of God, we must serve. Tell the neighbor we must serve. You are serving is to hear the word of God. Maria, you are serving as you are here. Hello. Listening to the word of God is part of service. Humbling yourself to sit. Eat. When Jesus was going to feed the, 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 the people, he gave the job to apostles. He said, Peter, make this man sit down. It is so hard to make a, a head of a person to sit down. To make justice sit down. Imagine, okay, Nigerian, Uganda, Kenya, <laughs> and everybody has their culture. And then <laughs> Maria, you just say, Mommy, first say, hey, sit down. As you are saying, somebody sit down, justice is standing. As you are trying to sit down, justice, when is standing. Purpose. What is your purpose? Praise the Lord. A man who has no purpose, God will not use you. You must find your purpose. You might find who you are, what you are called to do. Not today you are here, tomorrow you are there. You are, you are confusing the Satan. Hello. 
I'm talking about Jacob and Esau. He sold his right bud. How can somebody come to Maria? And I say, Maria, I'm giving you two dirham. Give me your birthright. Maria, what would you tell me? If you ask me, I say you lack sense. I'll first abuse you as my brother. Because when once you lack your purpose, somebody will use it. Somebody will take advantage of it because you have not understood who you are. And most of us, we are like Esau. We don't know what we are carrying. We open our legs. Anyhow. Mm, mm, mm. They touch you anyhow because there is no purpose in you. How could Jacob take the purpose of a man just like that? Just porridge or porridge. How many of you young girls, your purpose is dead? One brother just comes. One sister just comes. To see how the purpose of Samson was killed in one day by Delilah. He said, please put your head on the on the on the Psalms. I'll just massage. You do like massage. And your purpose has died in a barber shop. Delilah shop. How many of you men, your head is in Delilah shop right now? Purpose. You want of now. There are some of you are selling everything to come to Dubai. Selling everything to, to have iPhone. Selling your kidney to have iPhone. Selling your eyes to come. But devil is giving you HIV. Satan is giving you cancer. Satan is giving you candida. Satan is giving you gonorrhea. Satan is giving you everlasting sickness. Not everlasting life. Because you have denied the one who gave you the true identity of the birth. Purpose. So when God said, I hate Esau, now you know why God hated Esau. A man without a purpose, God cannot make you God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. Hello. If you're willing to sell your own purpose, why should God be use you, Maria? Won't you sell God? <laughs> if you have sold your own, won't you sell your clan? If you can sell your own, Maria, how sure I am that you will not send me? <laughs> Let us be honest. Are you, are you hearing me? If Judah could sell Jesus, I don't know the next apostle he was going to send. <laughs> Hello. We are in a generation of Esau. They like immediately things, immediately cash. I want to go to America. You are selling your right birth. So cheap. The five virgins. So cheap. The five foolish. In fact, they, they are the foolish. <laughs> May you never be foolish in the name of Jesus. May you never be a, in, in a group of five foolish virgins that have sold their purpose to foolishness. You came to Dubai with your purpose. You came to Namibia with your purpose. You left Uganda with your purpose. How come you have no purpose anymore? Hello. Some of you are selling it. I'm seeing people who have sold their 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 their, their, their right bath. You say, please, if you can just connect me, one night stand, no problem. Just connect me. One night stand. <laughs> yeah, just you that were so holy. Where the Annas? The Bible talks about a woman called Anna. She was a virgin to make virgins. It took Hannah to be a virgin for Mary to be a virgin. Where are the virgins? Oh, you have sold your virginity. No purpose. Mm. We are in a generation, no purpose, or oh, no purpose. You do like porridge. You do like hug. You do like peck. You do like kisses. You have sold a purpose. 
Praise Master Jesus. Am I communicating to someone? How many generations that are so there that have sold their purpose? Maria, a man came. Jacob came. He said, sorry, Esau came. He said, Jacob, I'm hungry. Immediately. Haven't you heard people say, eh, hey, what do I have for now? To get in America. But I'm going to You 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 are like uh, Esau. <laughs> you, you have lost your purpose. Amen. Let us read and see what happened to these two brothers. Praise Master Jesus. Genesis. Kabara bara 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 bara. Shabara kadia. Mariko si kabaraya. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 29. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we start 27 so we can understand it? Mm. Amen. Mm. We're reading the book of Genesis. Uh, Genesis 25 verse 27. The Bible says, The boys grew up Mm. And Esau became a skilled hunter, a man who loved the outdoor life. But Jacob was a quiet man who stayed at home. Isaac preferred Esau because he enjoyed eating the animals Esau killed. But Rebekah preferred Jacob. Praise Master Jesus. You too like outside doors, <laughs> not inside. <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. Tell the person, stay inside. Stay with the Holy Spirit. You too like the outside things. God is not an outside person. He's an inside person. He's in two families. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's not an outsider person. Hello. The Bible said the spirit of the Lord rests in men, not an in outside men. <laughs> oh, Rabbi, those and there. The Bible said, and their boys grew. The boys grew. Kabbalah, those in Prahas Elekandia. But I say, may you grow in your purpose. May you not grow in your destruction. May you not grow in pain. May you not grow in, in, in manipulations. May you not grow to be taken where you don't want to be. May you grow to your purpose. Am I communicating to somebody? Hallelujah. The Bible says, can you reading Maria? And verse 29. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. Uh, verse 29, uh, Genesis 25, verse 29, Amen. the Bible says, One day, mm. while Jacob was cooking some mm. bean soup, Esau came, in, Esau came in from hunting. He was hungry. Mm -hmm. And verse 30, And say to Jacob, I am starving. Give me some of that red stuff. That is why he called Edom. And 31. Oh, wait, Jacob wait. Answered. Listen. <clears throat> now he comes in. Praise Master Jesus. He does not know what has happened. Hello. Praise Master Jesus. He said, Give me. Hello. And that's why most of you are working so hard. But people who are so wise are using you. <laughs> He was just at home, but he knew how to squeeze everything he needed from his brother. How many of you are working in Saudi Arabia or Mankata? Your brother is just seated at home. He has, he has no desire even to travel America. But every money you get, he squeezed it away from you because he's so wise. Hello. <laughs> He has understood purpose and he has understood the press of service. And he said, I'm not interested in Dubai. My services are here. If I can calculate it well, I'll be richer than the one who goes outside. Purpose. 
there are people who are in Dubai and who are in Uganda, you will say, is the one in Uganda, if you compare, the one in Dubai does not suppose even to be in Dubai, because the one who, the way you are looking now in Dubai. <laughs> The way, the way, if they put you with the one of Uganda, they will pick Uganda and thinking it is the one that has been in Dubai. Hello. Don't like immediately things, Maria. Immediately things kill. You may be enjoying it at that time, at that it has saved you, but it is going to kill you because there is much to pay. Hello. He said, and Esau said to Jacob, feed me. I don't want people to feed me. I am not a generation of feed me. I'm a generation to feed. I do not want people to feed me. Jesus said, ha, Moriko si pelekos elentia. He said, make this man sit down and give them something. I don't want people to give me. I love to give to people. It is up to you to choose to be fed or to choose to feed. Which generation are you in? Why you like everything they give you? <laughs> you don't know your purpose. Because if men keep feeding you, you will never know how to catch a fish. You will never develop. You will never have a future of your own because you have been fed. You have not fed people. Service. Hello. He said, feed me. Feed me. There are people who just like to be fed. <laughs> Listen to He said, feed me. He said to just feed me. You have opened up a platform that you do not understand in the realm of the spirit. His name was Jacob. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I pray thou with that same red por porridge, for I am fasting. Therefore, was his name called Edom. According to what he spoke, according to what he required, according to what he declared, is what was given unto him. Why are you losing your purpose because of porridge? Why are you losing your beauty because of a man? Why are you losing your peace because of a one night stand? Oh. You have kept yourself from primary one. You entered secondary, you don't see any man, oh. But you just entered Dubai, you have begun to, to, to say you are, you are, you, you, you are. Your purpose. What is your problem, young lady? What is your problem, young man? What is your problem, elders of the church? He came and said, feed me. Hey, Yanamara Bradia. What are people feeding you these days? What are people feeding you? What are you letting somebody feed you? Have you checked what they are going to feed you? Have you checked how big and what process has it been in? What have you eaten that has eaten your destiny? What has you eaten that has scattered everything that is connected to you? What has you eaten that has scattered the generation out of you? He said, feed me. Hello. How many of you know that when you are feeding something, there is something that goes along? <laughs> How many of you have been fed? It is not fast feeding, though. It, it is a continuous feeding. How many of you are feeding your family right now? You are feeding your family. You thought you could do it just for two days. You thought you could do it for two minutes. But it has been a continuous feeding because you gave the devil the platform to keep feeding you. And he has fed you wrong information. He has put you in a status that you cannot come out in a hurry. Say, feed me. Am I communicating to somebody? <clears throat> How many have fed you with this grace? How many have fed your family that you gave opportunity with pain and tears? How many you open the door and unknowingly and every day that is the door that is making you cry because they are feeding you on the platform of a lie? 
on the platform of pain, on the platform of sickness, because you said, feed me. You have given them authority concerning your life. Are you seeing how we are giving authority without knowing? Hello. A man who just gives authority, God can't use you. Authority is maintained. Authority is what? Is maintained. Those people that in, are in authority, they don't give it easily. Hello. But this one did not see any use to keep the authority. There are some of you don't see any use to keep yourself as a young girl. You don't see it any. No, 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 no. It's just an iPhone you want. Oh. Just an iPhone. Your glory has departed. You have no glory. There is no beauty in you. There is nothing in you because you just like porridge anyhow. Isn't it porridge? <laughs> Hello, young lady. It's porridge, oh. It's porridge. Indeed, it's porridge. <laughs> la 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 la. Hello, cobra has <laughs> Am I communicating to someone? Are you sharing to a friend? What is your purpose? Do you still have a purpose or you left it in, in, in a boyfriend's house? So as you know, as you see, I came to the party and now <sighs> even your tongue changed. You that used to speak Uganda. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> what is your purpose? You that loved God, you just dropped it because of a porridge, because of what they have promised to give you. You no longer want to pray because somebody promised you a ring. A ring, oh, ring, ring, ring. Eh? A phone that can be in a you can be in a washroom and it drops in the toilet and that's the end of the purpose of the phone. But what about your purpose? Am I communicating to somebody? Imagine you so look at the man selling his right bath. Right, you are right because of food, 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 food. That you're going to eat and go to the washroom in one minute. Because just a ringo, just a single meal, just one night stand, or wait, just one wedding, you give up your purpose, you give up your portion, you leave everything because you want to go just one night one. And on that night, there is a, a, a contribution of HIV that is following you. Do you have a purpose? Why did you drop your purpose? There are some of us who have dropped our purpose with Delilah. Delilah is holding our glory. A man came because he was hungry. He could not be patient. He was at home. He would have waited. There are many of you who cannot wait for what God wants to do in your life. You want to do it your own way. You want to have your own way around. He never consulted the father. He never consulted the mother. He went to his brother. There are many of you that are dying because you're consulting your young brothers. You're consulting people that are just at home. Is somebody hearing me? Hello. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. What have you lost? Because you are in the hurry. I want, I want to, I'm tired. I just want to settle down. How are you settling? With who? <laughs> with, with, with what? Let us read. Amen. Praise the Lord. Am I communicating with somebody? Mm. One day while Jacob was cooking some bean soup, Esau came in front, Esau came from hunting, he was hungry and said to Jacob, I'm starving. There are some of gentlemen you are starving of something that you would have waited. You call it starving. What are you starving for? 
you can't start for the for the generation of of or for the goodness of god you cannot starve to go outside and preach the word of god but you are starving to sleep with a lady you are starving to impregnate somebody you are starving to scatter a generation you are starving to bring humiliation and disgrace on your family that's what starving you are you have you have no passion in you for god you have no passion for God, but you have passion for a lady. You have a passion for a man. You have no passion for business. Am I communicating to somebody? Hello, what is your purpose? Amen. What are you created for? Is this just one night stand, that's all? Is that why you are created, just money? Just to go and work, and at the end of the day, when the salary ends, that's what you are created for. Then if you are in that category, you need to be prayed for. So the Bible continues to read to tell us. He said, I'm starving. Give me some of that red stuff. Hello. That is why. He was called Edom. Jacob answered, I'll give it to you if you give me your rights as the first son. <coughs> Is somebody hearing me? I will give it to you. But there is a condition. God is not God of condition. God is not God of condition. Mm -mm. Anything that has a condition. Ah, there are people who say, I will first pray for you, Maria. I will prophesy for you, but first give me money. That is a scam. God is not God of condition. Any person that is put in a condition, check them. They're not from God. God is not God of condition. Hello? You did not hear me. He said, behold, I am at the point to die. I, what is that hunger that is in the, you can't be hungry for God. You are hungry for a woman that you want to die. Okay, die now. The Bible tells us about the son of David, that he fall in love with Tamar. Is somebody hearing me? And the Bible says he so fall in love with the sister. You see the kind of dying, the, the, the man was dying. He so loved it. He was so attracted to the. But when he had it, the Bible says he so hated her. <laughs> he so, <laughs> hey, something that he was dying to have, now he's dying to hate it. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of lust every spirit of masturbation every spirit that the enemy has hooked in you to make you lose your purpose anyhow by the power of the holy ghost may the lord deliver you from such Amen. hunger that hunger Amen. is not of god that hunger Amen. is not of god anything that is not of god let it be come out in the name of jesus the guy was so the bible said he was which hunger kills hello Esther fasted for three days. She was normal. Daniel fasted for 21 days. It's not Jesus. Though. These are men. He was normal. Haven't we fasted here? Misa fasted for seven days. He said she was, she's, she was normal. Dr. Promise fasted for 14 dry days. She was normal. How do you tell me? Just one day you want to die. What kind of addiction that is making our generation die? addiction maria this guy was addicted though addiction and he said i'm gonna die if i don't do this if you don't i will die what are you addicted to that you have lost your purpose praise the lord you don't care you say I, if even if it is my lens as long as i can just smoke shisha i Jesus. As, as I, I can just own the iPhone 15, I don't care about the land of my father. Some of you are selling your lands, your father's buildings. You are selling them because you don't know the purpose of them. You don't know that people die to bring this Bible to you. You don't see the purpose and the desires to keep reading it. No, there is no purpose. So. 
He said, I am dying. Just give me. Have you heard the when some men say just my he's just rubbing around? I'm not, I'm not enter. Me not entering. Ah, <laughs> yeah, kalama hazia marakatia. That person wants to kill your generation. That person wants to finish your future. That person wants to kill your purpose because Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And the first thing Satan sees is your mindset. Once Satan has your mindset, he has everything because he has targeted your head. He has targeted your mind. He has targeted your vision. He has targeted your speech. He has targeted what you're going to be. So he wants to stop who you are. <coughs> Listen to me. This was so attractive. How, why would Jacob sit on the entrance of where Jacob Esau is coming from? <laughs> Praise Master Jesus. Imagine Maria. Somebody knows you, you do desire Canada, and he just draw Canada flag as you are passing, you could you keep living, and he knows you have something he wants. He said, Maria, you want to go to Canada? Just give me your land title. No problem. I will help you. Land title. Because you are too mumusha, say you have no desire, you have no purpose. You just say, is it just the land? Let me give the land. After all, I'm going to Canada to post you. You have just sold the first purpose. If you cannot maintain the first purpose you have, how sure God will trust you with another purpose of Canada? There are many of you, God gave you the first opportunity like Jacob, like Esau. You could not maintain it. And he could not make you the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Esau. He said, no, the one who could maintain it, the one who had the capacity to, to take it from him, he said, this is the right man who can sit and gather, who can sit and correct, who had information to correct it from him. This is the man that is right there for it. It was given to somebody who was not meant to have it. Hello. Many of you people have taken your purpose. Many of you people have taken your glory. <laughs> and people who are taking your purpose and your glory, they have not even paid too much. <laughs> Imagine you kept your virginity from P1 up to university. Then you entered one church. Or you entered one, one restaurant. Somebody said, oh, Sister Maria, you look familiar. You see? Satan will make you look familiar. Tell the devil I'm not familiar with you. I am not from here in the name of Jesus. I don't belong here. I'm not familiar because I don't carry a familiar spirit. I carry outstanding spirit in the name of Jesus. We are not familiar. Uh -uh. You see, when Satan wants to see, say, um, my name is Brother Raymond. Um, I'm from UK. And as long as Mumushasla, Fulushasla, Incrufriasla, you just hear just one coward, America, Urik, Ayanana, Mayanana. Eya, you just sell your dignity. You sell your. There's some people just they have lied them on just accent. Axio, accent. Yeah, somebody say, um, they just practice it. <laughs> you just sold. There's people from Saudi Arabia that I've seen people give people give their land to online men. You say, I, I heard this one somebody say, just me, I just like the way you, you have no future. No one can land in your village. You are sending a man flowers. Are you okay? And you, then you, you are praying to God, God, you know, Father, prosper me. Holy Ghost, prosper me. Father, provide for me. You are God of provision. God says, sit down. The one I gave you, gave it to the wrong person. Hello. God is saying, if you are if you cannot maintain your right birth, you cannot keep what belongs to you. What about the one he wants to entrust you with? There are many of us, God has given much to us, but we have not maintained what we have. So why would God give us to kill us? Hello? 
if you have not value you have no value say i can sell it at any time but when you are buying that land you are saying mommy penny pray so i can break the curse of the family now no value you want to just sell it no value you are just telling your mother anything that they just give me anything you see you're not seeing any purpose in it but there is a person who is willing to buy it because he has seen a purpose in it <laughs> how many of you are, have owned things and your friend bought it and now it is expanding you feel like you're, you you are now <clears throat> saying he's a witch he's not a witch you're stupid you lack sense you like to to sense you like ah Opa never saw any sense in Naomi. He never saw any future. He never saw any purpose in Naomi. But there is the one who sticked. There is the one who, who stayed. There is the one who went with her. There is the one who saw the purpose. And the one who did not see it. We never saw about Opa again. Up to now, I don't know what happened to Opa. What is your purpose? Are you just selling everything you have just like that? Are you just living like anyhow? Maria, read for me again that scripture. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point of what? Point. Yes, mommy. Mm -hmm. uh, 32, mommy. Mm -hmm. Amen. When the book of Genesis... Genesis, I will begin from 27, we're now in 32. And the Bible says, Esau said, all right, I am about to die. What good will my right do me then? What my Jacob purpose? Can you hear? Can you hear? I'm about to die. People who have no purpose, they have already dig the grave for themselves. It's not the village people. No. It's not village people, themselves. Because many of you, Satan has given you reasons to look like you have no future. It's not true, Maria, you have a future. It's not true, Topisa, you have a career. It's not true that you have a brighter future. Because the Bible says in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, for I know the plans that I have for you. So Satan is telling you there is no future. Just said it. Just give it out. It is a lie from the pit of hell. Is manipulating you. He said, what is my right for? After all, I'm going to die. He was just a young boy. Every manipulation that has put you in a state of seeing yourself as a dead man, fire in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, I'm seeing some young men that they have given up on life. They look at themselves as the, the, the finished and dead project in the name of Jesus. You are not a dead projector. You are not a dead projector. This guy began to, to see himself as a dead projector, as a no future user. I command by the power of the Holy Ghost, huh? whatsoever has manipulated you to give your rights, huh? to, to feel like you are out of locations. I pray, let your right mindset be given back to you in the name of Jesus. When I read this story, it's not different with the story of this, the prodigal sons. Hello. Hello. When I read this story, there is no different with the story of Ken and Abia. Hmm. May the Lord give you grace. When I read this story, there is no different with Alon and Moses. Praise Master Jesus. And he said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? There is a profit in the birthright. <laughs> there is a prophet Maria in your birthright. The Bible says, and Jesus was from the tribe of Judah because he had the birthright. He was the one who brought salvation to earth because he was the first echo, Paris and echo, because he was the first writer. He was the first to enter the 
grave and resurrect her. He was the first to bring man no sickle cause in the combra has and there. He was the one that who went back to the Eden and prepared the same thing that Adam, the first Adam, had done. That is the prophet of the firstborn. And the devil is telling you there is nothing there is a lie. Your life is more profitable. And he said, behold, I'm at the point of death. Whatsoever has triggered you at the point of death to give your rights. Whatsoever is that tormenting you to give. Hayana Makobra has here. There are many of you that have given up what belongs to you because there is something that is pulling you, pushing you to do it. It's not your normal sense. Because the Bible says he said, isn't his name Jacob? He came to his right sense. He said, isn't his name? He said, he, no wonder he stole me. He said, this is not the first time. He begins to recognize. He begins to, there are many of you as I'm speaking, you said, this is not the first time this happened to me it happened to my mother it happened to my brother it happened to my uncle i command by the power of the holy ghost as you begin to see that way may the lord deliver you from that point of death may the lord deliver you from every manipulation may the lord deliver you if made there are people who have given their judgments because they never read because they were hungry praise the lord I saw one, one, one video where a man was saying they, they forced him because he did not know how to read. That is hunger. Poverty. I'm seeing poverty there. Maria, this guy was from hunting. Impatient has sent people to the grave. Impatient. A spirit of impatient. You don't want to wait. Uh -uh. My penis is too much. Ah, that woman likes waiting. Uh -uh. And there is there is a damsel that is saying there is there is a there is a hank. There is a hank. Eh? God have mercy. Impatient has killed our generation. Our generation has no impatient. That man had no impatience. And yet the Bible said God is patient. Hello. The Bible said Jacob had the capacity to be patient because he told us that when the, the animals of Laban were getting lost, he was repressing them with his own patience. Ah, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. May you have that patience in the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you the capacity to be patient in his kingdom, to be patient in the work he has called you, to be patient on the journey he's taking you, because when you are not patient, you will become like Esau and you will sell your rights. Am I communicating to someone? Hello. Say, I'm at the point of death. You're not at the point of death. It's a situation of doom. Hello. I'm seeing many exiles in abscond, in overstays, because you are in the hurry. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There are some of you who don't have your passports because you gave it out. You say, carry what? You know when there are people now who don't have a Ngamuntu because they feel like they should not go back to Uganda. No problem. We are waiting for you. We the citizens of Uganda. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Am I communicating with somebody? Don't sell what belongs to you. At one point you will need it. He said, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? There is a prophet. Praise the Lord. There is a prophet. There is a prophet. There is a prophet. There is a prophet. <coughs> there is a prophet. There is what? A prophet. There is a prophet. Do you know when you are the first son, uh, before they do things, they will first consult you? Is somebody hearing me? Eh? Do you know that when your father is no more, you take the the right position automatically. Eh? 
And this man, he said, what will the right bath do for me? What will my passport do for me? You said it. What will my virgin do for me? There are generation in, you cannot enter heaven. You see those five virgins, eh? They are the one who entered. Other foolish ones could not enter because I don't think there were five virgins. Mm -mm. <laughs> they were not. I think they are touched. Touch, they, they were like Susanna. Mm. We are in the field. And by the way, you have something within the hand. But because you are greedy, you want something more. He would have been, what is it that he could not wait? The Bible says he had gone to, to hunt, right? Meaning he came with something in the hand, right? But it was looking red. Eh? You know red? <laughs> you know red? Things that you don't, you cannot, you cannot be satisfied, you even want it. There is the way red brings that picture. It's so beautiful. It's so attracting. Is I need this one. There are some of you are having your wife at home, but you are seeing a maid. No, you are losing your right birth. Hello. You have something in the hand, but you still go after Jacob's own. And Jacob is a trick. There are many of you, it is just a trick that the devil wants to hit you inside so that you can be there for the rest of your life. Hello. Katego. Katego ka Jacob. I know Butego wounds. <laughs> that is one of Butego wa Jacob. That is one of them. There are some of brothers, they know Maria, she's coming. They tuck in, look good, open their chest. They say, okay, he's come. She's coming. She likes, she likes the people like this. They spot like that. Okay, they come. There are people who know the style of Betty. They say, okay, as she's coming, I'll be like, like this. I'll be doing like this. I will say like this. I'll be communicating like this. Praise the Lord. People have studied you that they know the time you come, the time you talk, the time, the things you do, the things you like. They have studied that they have the study. They, they have your study, Maria. They have one book, two book, three book, four book. And even they wake up. So the moment you make a mistake, your birthright is taken. Hello. If some of you still have it, you are like Jacob, you are like Esther. Do you have your birthright? Or you have given up already, Olivia? So what does uh, my birthright do to me? I don't need it. Your birthright is your peace. How many of you have peace? So you have given up to your neighbor. <laughs> He said, as I'm seeing now, I don't need this piece. It does, it does. In fact, I've been carrying this piece since I've been. It has not helped me. Let me just give it. How many of you? He said, I've been carrying this bam, 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 bam. It has not paid for me. It has not helped me. Why don't I just give it? And the moment you give it, Satan gives you another welcome of HIV. So they are combination. Say in the name of Jesus. Satan, you will not take my birthright. You will not steal my birthright. I will not give in in what Satan has said before me. For I have understood he came to steal, kill, and destroy the purposes of men. Hello, people of God. Am I communicating to somebody? Be patient. You cannot die. You think it is porridge that can satisfy all your needs? Okay, Maria, do you think that porridge he just took for that minute, that minute? But he lost everlasting, everlasting rights. How many of you have lost everlasting rights that now you are crying? You lost everlasting precious things and you want for immediately man immediately marriages how many of us we left school school at in in p3 p4 p5 come you got pregnant 
everlasting, you receive the everlasting pregnancy. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm hitting somebody, but this is the message. I have not come here to hit anybody. I have come to teach. Don't lose your purpose. I'm telling you the important to have your purpose. Praise the Lord. Hello. And let me tell you, as I will never learn, they kept stealing the purpose because he had made the platform of a thief. What have you learned from the privileged relationship? What have you learned from the previous ministry? What have you learned from a previous brother? What have you learned from a previous business? What have you learned? Praise the Lord. He still went outside. <laughs> and this time they finished him because he took even the little one. He took every purpose. The Bible says, while a man slept, hello, the enemy came and did what? And sowed a seed. What did Jacob sow in Esau? He fed the seed. He said, feed me. <laughs> he fed him a seed that he will never be at home. He will be collecting his blessings. He gave him a charm that he will never be present when they are blessing. Kalamaraya there. Anything that the enemy has fed you on the platform of giving them your rights by the power of the Holy Ghost, whatsoever they hooked, whatsoever they used on you to manipulate you and confuse you, I command, let it disappear now in the name of Jesus. These are two brothers. One had fully rights, but because he was not patient. Tell the neighbor, I want to be patient from today. You are running to your grave. Young girl, you are running to your grave. Young man, you are running to your grave. Hello. Don't start something that will make you run into the grave by yourself. Be patient. Be patient, Winnie. Be, shed, be patient, doctor. Be patient, Maria. Some of us, we have sold our careers. We have sold our documents. Somebody said, government you cannot But today you have sold all your documents because of when kumi bidi rochko in kumi bidi zati sa kondom. It is not even you that it needs it. No, your girlfriend, you sold your property of your uncle and you gave money to a person and you are crying today. Praise Master Jesus. Stop feeding your fresh of now. Deny your fresh of now, Maria, and keep the purpose. Jesus refused to feed the flesh of now. He denied the desires of now. He said to certain man shall not live on bread alone. That is what Esau had to tell to Jacob. That man shall not live on bread alone. But every word that comes from the Lord. Impact yourself on the word of God. If you don't want to lose your purpose. Because Satan has come to kill your purpose. Am I communicating to someone? I'm as some of you don't have glory. You are too beautiful, but you have no glory. You are too handsome. You have no purpose. Because you gave it out, because you thought it was not used, necessary. Praise the Lord. Hello. Am I communicating to someone? Maria, you have not eaten. Go and eat. Since you want to eat your purpose. <laughs> These are the porridge I'm talking about. <laughs> My friend read for me. 
Ala brahazi agadia. Amen. Stop eating of now. Deny yourself. Praise the Lord. Hello. Spesenanza, hello. Rebecca, hello. Hello, Mama. Many of us, we have sold our purpose to Satan. And I know I'm getting. Ogama ah, kaneba kamwe da chika satu. Nga savi sege na mumas. You have sold your purpose. Mari o churi decho. Da chikezo satezo. You fed your spirit. You're, sorry, you're, you're, you're fresh. And your spirit is dead. Read for me the last one. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're in the book of Exodus, Exodus 25, verse 33. No, Genesis, you see? <laughs> <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Ay, ala brasi ya kabaya. God give <laughs> Maria every porridge you are eating that is taking you from the presence of God. Why in the name of Jesus? Really, oh, I'm sorry. It is not excellent. <laughs> My apologies, please. Uh, we're in the book of Genesis, Genesis uh, 25. Yeah. Uh, those who have just come, of the book of Genesis 25. 27, we're now in 33, Genesis 25, 33. Oh, yeah. And Jacob answered, first make a vow that you will give me your rights. Esau made the vow and gave his rights to Jacob. How many of you say, if you love me, post me. If you, if, if you did it, you are entering vows and losing your rights. And I posted you. But took your rights. Praise the Lord. Ah, they posted. Ah, uh, isn't is it, it posting? They posted you, blocked everybody, took your rights. <coughs> and Jacob said to Esau, Square to me now. How many of you have swear that? What you go when you go? In primary, you make now you can't get married because you, you sold your rights to someone. Praise the Lord. You sold your womb to someone. And you are in marriage of a man, and you're not telling a man the truth that you sold your womb to one man. He said you will never produce, you will only produce for him alone. And maybe that man has died, and the spirits are claiming the baby. We have done things in ignorance. I've told you a story where me and my friends entered the covenant. Hello. And I've told you that we always meet ourselves. Is somebody hearing me? He said, if I must give you what I have, Enter a covenant with me. How many ladies have entered the covenant because they want iPhone? How many men have entered the covenant because they want to go to America? How many people have entered the covenant that has killed their brothers, have killed their sisters, and are knowing the covenant that have scattered their entire generation? Some of us, we have done it, but our families are affected because of, of stupidity that we entered. Hello. Imagine the birthright of your entire generation is sold. To a man. Entire generation was sold to a man. Entire generation of Esau was sold to Jacob. I know you think that you just gave a man for one night stand. No, it did not stop there. 
it did not stop there. He didn't just enter you and just come out. No, there's some things he left in you. There are covenants he left in you. And as some of you produce people, you say, this one looks like James. But you are married to John. And you cannot leave that ex his face because it's exactly like the baby you just gave birth. <laughs> Somebody say fire. <laughs> it means I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to the truth to someone. Am I communicating to someone? You have sold your purpose because you want a mansion. And we have a generation, they don't care. Even if he's old and he's, as if, even if he's dying like this, they just want American visa. Purpose. He said, Mama, he does not care as long as he's a M single. Look at your head. Selling the entire generation's purpose because you want to satisfy your need. Praise the Lord. Am I communicating to someone? May the Lord help us that we may not sell our purpose because of porridge, because of sex, because of lands, because of America, because of Dubai. Hello. I've said there are many of you have sold things that when you pass, they say that is your land. Eh? And you feel like crying. Somebody has built and known and sharpened it. Eh? Then you pass there, say Maria, say, that was Maria's hand. <laughs> you didn't see a papa, somebody saw a, a, a business there, somebody saw a mansion there, somebody saw a, a hospital there, somebody saw something in that thing that you did not see very well. Why would Jacob ask for the birthright? Praise the Lord. He saw it. He knew it would help him at, at one point. And indeed, they immediately asked him. The Bible says, Rebecca revelation came to pass. Remember, the Bible said, Jacob, Rebecca loved who? I think he told him, he said, the only thing for you to succeed is to have the right birth of that man. So day and night, he was cooking on how to get it. Some people are cooking your life. You're just saying, say, he loved me. He loved me. Mama, it's not love. Oh. Mama, I don't understand. Pregnant enters. They are fulfilled, sealed, a, a generation, a, a thing, and you cannot get pregnant again. There are some of you, you can never get another one. Because that was the convert. They said, as long as you do that one, you, you have just raised yourself. You are free from every curse. You are free from everything. Just let the other person carry it. Is somebody hearing me? Somebody carried your glory, carried your purpose. You, you are just there with poverty. Anger, spirit never leave you. Because. <laughs> <laughs> complaining spirit has never left you because somebody knew their purpose took it dressed and addressed themselves on you and they have left you and they are driving you are tracking from generation to generation because you never saw the purpose of the things you carry. You were misled by people. There are many of you have good purposes, but you are not patient. Somebody misleads you. Am I communicating? Somebody misleads you. You're misled. You're misled. You're misled. And some of your parents have misled you. They are the one introducing you to old men, married men. message <laughs> 
I will not come back with such. God, why would you give me such message? First, let you see the message. We must repent. Am I speaking to somebody? Keep yourself. Stop being in hurry. And then you lose something precious to the devil. Is somebody hearing me? The Bible says, and Joseph denied himself the pressures. He kept the purpose. He kept the dream. He believed in it. He never unaddressed himself to that, to lower himself. How many of you have lowered yourself? No purpose. No destiny. Nothing. I'm not here to condemn you because everybody here is above 80. But I don't want you to repeat the same things that you have been doing. Don't allow anybody to tell you that you are less or nothing. You are great. You are powerful. You are amazing. Believe in yourself. Tell yourself. Imagine, okay, Maria, let us say that, okay, I know you, I'm, I'm your spiritual mother. Ah, uh, let me use Rebecca. Rebecca. Imagine Rebecca, I say, I say, Rebecca, give me your son. You say, Mama, take that. The, take. Imagine, I just say, I say, Rebecca, give me one of your, uh, your son. Give me. If you give me your son, it means you don't see any purpose in him. How many parents have given up their children? But now, the children have grown to be great. Now somebody's claiming them. Why would I give you that child? You didn't say any purpose in that child. So you don't, it does not belong to you. Because you negated the rights of the baby, the rights of a, of a pregnancy. Somebody has taken care of it. Now you want to claim that is my baby. You, you lack sense. Am I communicating with somebody? There are men who have negated women. There are women who have negated men. And now they see somebody looking good. Then they say, uh, Specialista is my wife. Fire! <laughs> In fact, if you came to Penny Kingdom and you never told me you are married, and somebody comes to claim you that you are married, there is a problem. <laughs> Because I'll give you, I'll give you away. <laughs> if you never told me you are married, and then somebody, now we have worked on you, shaped you, you look good. Eh? Praise the Lord. We have taught you how to shower, to, to do the other things. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then somebody wants to come from nowhere and say, Rebecca is my wife. Winnie, she is my wife. There will be a problem. Uh, Genesis is my husband. Hey, we'll finish you. Is somebody hearing me at all? Am I communicating? Have you understood now? Imagine Maria, your mother. I come and say, give me, Maria, I'll just give you popcorns. And your mother just give you, buy, just sell you because of popcorn. <laughs> no purpose. <laughs> A man sold his rights because he never saw any purpose. But the one who saw the purpose of it used it. Hello. What about Judah who sold Jesus? But the ones even who gave the money to Judah refused it because they knew Jesus had a purpose. Praise Master Jesus. May you never sell your purpose. May you never set your purpose. May you not set your purpose. May you not be in a hurry. And have discovered that most people who are in pains right now, they refuse to, li to listen to the prophets. They, li they refuse to listen to their mother in the Lord or their father in the Lord or the instructor. And now they are crying. They can't come to tell us. They are scared. Because they saw already their, their purpose. Slipped and finished themselves. After finishing themselves, then they look for us. I'm not condemning anybody. 
but I'm telling you, you people are doing wrong to us. Is somebody hearing me? You are doing wrong to us. Am I communicating? Amen. What is your purpose? What's your purpose? What's your purpose? Tonight, go and read yourself. Say, who am I? Why am I here? What am I doing in my 24 hours or 12 hours that I have a day? Discover who you are. Discover who you are, Rebecca. Don't waste time anymore. Maria, don't waste time anymore. Don't waste time anymore. You have wasted too much. You have been misled too much. You have been taken to different dimensions in different ways too much. Discover who you are, for God's sake. Amen, people of God. Can we read the last verse, Maria? Then we call it tonight. Amen. I hope I bless you. Then we will pray. Amen. Exodus 25, 134. Yes. Genesis. The Bible says, And then Jacob gave him some bread, and some of the soup he ate and drank and then got up and left that was all Esau cared about his rights as the first son praise the lord the bible is saying he just gave him what he wanted for that specific time but it cannot sustain you for the rest of your life maria no matter how i give you money it cannot satisfy you for the whole of your life. It will just solve the smaller needs, but you will still be hungry. And that's why many of you eh, have left the right people, the right churches, the right schools, the right families, and you are rolling like Satan because you have been given for that specific time. And you have left those who are in bad and good with you. You just went for immediate things. Immediately they look good. That's why it looks good in your eyes. It look red. Eh? You want it for now. You forgot about Rebecca. You forgot about Maria who has stood with you for some time. You forgot about Will who has been with you. You forgot about the prayers. You forgot about the, 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 the friendship. You just went for somebody you just met in a second. Am I communicating with somebody? That was how Esau was. And that's why the Bible said, God hated Esau and loved Jacob. Praise the Lord. Is somebody hearing me? Even, can I say, even when Jacob was in problem, he didn't sell his rights. Keep your rights. <coughs> you need them. We're going to pray. Are you ready to pray? But Maria, what have you learned before we pray? Tomorrow we'll proceed more. What have you learned? People of God. Thank you for those who are watching us on TikTok and YouTube. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you so much, Mami. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, for this amazing word uh, that you've given unto us this hour. And uh, first of all, I want to say uh, thanks to everyone who have come, those who have joined. Thank you so much for coming. Pastor, we preach you. Well, I've learned, uh, you've preached about purpose. And uh, there's something that really touched my spirit uh, where you say that that Satan has a purpose. And that is why we see in the Bible in John 10.10 10, that he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So that was his purpose, to destroy the world. That was his purpose, to kill. That was his purpose, to, 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 to steal, you know, to destroy. And, uh, and mommy, and so I was like, if Satan knew his purpose, then how about us, the children of God? 
why are we struggling with our purpose? Yet the devil already he caught his and he used it. So I was asking myself, so why are we still struggling with our purpose? Yet the devil, it was very easy for him to know his purpose. And uh, and another thing I've learned uh, is that uh, you spoke of uh, what God, that God cannot keep a man who cannot keep his back right. You know, God cannot use someone who is not willing. God cannot use if we are not ready. We could be having the purpose, but are you ready for the sacrifices? As mommy has mentioned that there is nothing comes in a silver plate. There is a rest there. Praise the Lord. And 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 also uh you've talked about uh impatient. Most of us we are we are impatient of everything and everything we need it there and then if we've done something maybe you've you've, you've started your your small business already you want to collect millions of money in one day in one year forgetting that these things it takes time so mommy i've spoke about impatience so we saw that Ethel he was impatient he didn't have that patience you know to hold on himself or to know his right. So I believe that we, we, are, we, we, we as Christians, we need also like to work on our impatience. Let us examine ourselves. Do we still have it? You know, sometimes you can say that we don't have it, but we still have it, mommy, to be honest. We still have it, that impatience, probably to be a man, who there and then. And, uh, and 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 also mommy you've talked about that once we lack our purpose someone else will use it if we lack our purpose because time is going and god is bringing more people god is selecting more people so if you you have your purpose and you're not asking god what exactly could be your purpose Remember, there are so many people who are praying and there are so many people who are giving themselves to God, seeking God and asking him for their purpose. And for you already, God has already revealed your purpose and you are still there. And the time is going. The more the time you're wasting, the more God is bringing people. God, God even will bring the Gentiles because they don't know their purpose. You're the Jew, you're the believer, you're just playing with your purpose. You're just saying, oh, devil, Charlie, there's still time. Oh, devil, Charlie, mommy, I did that in the purpose. I didn't get it in the oh, devil, Charlie. The purpose is going, the time is going, and the time wasted will never be recovered. It will be gone. As mommy said, we have 24 hours in a day, 24 hours. But what have you used? What have you done with your 24 hours? And uh, I'll not talk all, I'll just speak little, and then I'll leave also uh, some to others also too. Uh, and uh, Mami, you've mentioned about 